Scientifically. Welcome to Speaking Scientifically. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a complete metamorphosis and an incomplete metamorphosis. Now this is only when you're talking about insects. Some of them go through a big change, some of them go through a little change. The ones who go through a big change, like a butterfly, goes through a complete metamorphosis. It starts off as a little larva, which looks really different from the grown-up form. Then they go to a stage called a pupa. Mm -hmm. A pupa. I know it's kind of a funny word. And when you're talking about two or more, it's pupae. Mm -hmm. Pupae. Pupae. And then you've got the grown-up form, which has got some wings, and it looks really, really different from the baby form, or the larva. Now, we're talking about things like butterflies, of course, and ladybugs, and other beetles, ants, wasps, and bees. In an incomplete metamorphosis, you have a baby form called a nymph, or if it lives in the water, a naiad. The baby form looks like a teeny tiny little version of the grown-up form. The only thing that they're really going to do is grow a set of wings. A grasshopper and a cricket and a cockroach and a mantis all go through an incomplete metamorphosis. When a grasshopper is a baby grasshopper, it looks like a baby grasshopper. When it's all grown up, it looks like a grasshopper, but it's got some wings. If you ask me, it's really not much of a metamorphosis, but they didn't ask me. So I hope I helped you speak it scientifically. If you've got more words you want to know, Put them in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye!